All right, we want to take a quick look at the uh, lesson from today regarding triangle relationships. Uh, what we looked at first was the triangle sum theorem, which we've done many times before, just now we need to actually look at putting it in words, just that angles of a triangle add to 180. And then another way we looked at was the right triangle theorem here. And the right triangle theorem is pretty straightforward as well. In a right triangle, one's 90 degrees, so the other two angles must add up to 90 as a result. Uh, we did a quick example then. If we have a right triangle, then that means that the, uh, and we have another acute angle, 50 degrees, what's the angle of the, thir of the third? What's the measure of the third angle? It's just going to be 90 minus 50, which is 40 degrees. So that's pretty straightforward, not too difficult from adding angles up. We then went a little bit further. Uh, we need to find out exactly how we can uh, find measures of angles. So in this triangle, we had everything. We have these 4x plus 11, 10x plus 2. All we have to do to figure out how big each angle is, is we need to set all of them, add them up to 180 because they're angles of a triangle. So we just add all three up to 180. From there, it's just simplifying. It ended up being 20x plus 20 equals 180. So 20x equals 160, and you should get x equals 8. Now we're not done yet because we want to classify the triangle. That means we need to find out what the angles are. All we need to do is plug in for each value. When we do, we find this one up top is 82 degrees. This one over here should have been 43 degrees. And that meant this last one over here was 55 degrees. So because of that, they're all acute angles. We're going to say it was an acute triangle. That's all we wanted to do. We then looked at this new theorem called the exterior angles theorem. Uh, but first, we needed to make some definitions. Interior angles of a triangle are the inside of a triangle. This exterior angle is made when you extend one side of a triangle. And then the remote interior angles were just the inside parts of a triangle that were away from our exterior angle, so one and two. And all our theorem said was that the remote interior angles, when you add them up, that's the same as the measure of the exterior angle. So in that picture, the measure of angle four was the same as one plus two. We looked at an example to figure that out. In this one, five x minus 60 is the exterior angle. It must be equal to the interior angles, which are 2x plus 3 and 15. So from there, it would just be solving a problem like we've done many times before. 2x, now this is 18, equals 5x minus 60. Um, just when we solve it, it would become 78 equals 3x. So you would get that x equals 26. Very straightforward. Let's look at one final example. Uh, same thing, we want to classify the triangle. That's an exterior angle, 116. It must equal the sum of the other two, 5x plus 17 plus 6x plus 11. You should get 11x plus 18 on the right side equals 116. Uh, I'm sorry, it should be 28, not 16. You get that, you subtract 28 from both sides. That should now become a uh, 88 equals 11x. So x equals 8. And again, we're just going to plug back in and find out exactly what all the angles are. You could have found out this one is 64 degrees right off the bat, just because they make a linear pair with 116. Plug in 8 here, this becomes 57 degrees. Plug in 8 up top, you should get uh, 48 plus 11 is 59 degrees. So they're all acute again, so this is an acute triangle. And that is the beginning of triangle relationships.